Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mohsen. Uh, today we will discuss about the remote sensing application in water management uh, in the course of remote sensing and GIS application. So remote sensing can be used for the quantifying the land use changes. As I discussed in the previous lecture, uh, I also shared the material with you some paper uh, on the industry basin irrigation system. Uh, regarding the remote sensing application for the water resource management component. So the land use land cover classification based on unsupervised classification or supervised classification. Land use and land cover. Land cover is a natural physical surface condition. It is a natural forest, natural lakes, natural uh, savanna. These classes have precipitation and ET process that occur without interference. In case of land use, defines human interference on land cover, manage land cover. Crop plants, rain feed or irrigated lands, forest, plantations, settlement, etc. are the part of land use. These classes have managed water use like uh, reservoir, irrigated agriculture and orchard. So the available data uh, basis global land cover uh, characteristics is uh, available at 1 km AVH or, or NDV base for, uh, for the 90, 92 to 93 for the year of <coughs> global land cover GLC 2000 1 km spot based vegetation NDVI Boston uh, University IGBP uh, 500 meter modest base in 2004 global cover ES is the 300 meter Mayor's uh, 2005 to 6. Why a new database is required that uh, when these data base are available? Uh, so the general for general for specific project use, more detailed land use required, crop rotation pattern and etc. As uh, in case of Pakistan, in our country, uh, the mostly the farmers uh, are having uh, the area of less than 10 acre and the cropping pattern vary from. Uh, uh, city to city or the district to district there are uh, different uh, uh, cropping zone or cropping pattern or the shifting of the uh, different crop uh, like the cotton area of the South Punjab is now uh, under the sugarcane uh, cultivation due to the industry shift in the South Punjab clear differentiation among the different land uses uh, NDY is a normalized distance vegetation index. NDY is a degree of greenness more photosynthetic activity. NDY is equal to near infrared minus that over near infrared plus that. Is uh, the range that is uh, between minus one to one. One kilometer NDVI time series can be 500 or 250 meter. Uh, this is freely available. Two to four images for one month. Cover phenological cycles. The phenological variation presented here from the uh, Dr. Jazeb Chima uh, research. So this is the phenology, the pattern of each uh, crop, each land use, uh, like the irrigated mix cotton wheat is here uh, with the uh, triangle on this area so these are differentiated based on this uh, based on their pattern and the field data ground growth data and also the uh, considering the crop calendar so that with uh, the growing season and the harvest season keeping in mind all these process so these are the irrigated and the rainfed crops and their phenological variation uh, phenological variation in case of rice wheat rotation is presented here when uh, we have uh, a peak in February for the wheat crop, then in May when the crop is harvested, the NDV value is low. Then again, uh, the value is at the peak when the rice crop is at the uh, maturity or the green stage, then when in case of November harvested and the sowing of the wheat start, then the NDV goes in. So same. Uh, so, so here also the mixed uh, cotton wheat rotation is presented here based on the phenology. Uh, so the case is like the previous we discussed in the previous slide. Phenological variation uh, for each 
pastures, mona and forest and human hair. All these are based on the expert knowledge and their crop calendar, their maturity, their greenery and their analogy was keeping in mind while processing all the uh, image application. Evergreen forests, mana, snow and ice, uh, and or phenology is presented here in the different four classes. Mana and ice uh, permanent is just a blue line that is almost uh, horizontal and the forest uh, engagement uh, is uh, at the top as it is has variation with in different seasons. So the phenological variation uh, of the industry based and irrigation system is presented by uh, Dr. Johnson Chima and the best answer in 2000 and uh, in, in his publication and here is presented the classes snow ice to water bodies are presented here for the whole industry. So the accuracy assessment as we discussed in uh, other lecture previous uh, the error matrix based on ground truth in comparison with the existing database and the ancillary database. Ground truth thing needs GPS, fairly large set of observation. Uh, my teacher, doctor, as I discussed, Dr. John Zepchima is uh, performing ground truthing uh, before uh, to formulate this uh, land use land cover. So here is the error matrix as we discuss in detail the error matrix in other previous uh, slides. So I will skip this one as it is presented in the detail uh, in the previous classes when we discuss supervised and unsupervised classification. So what is the change detection? Change detection involves the use of multi-temporal data set to discriminate area of land cover change between dates of imaging. Ideally it requires same or similar sensor resolution, viewing geometry, spectral bands, radiometric resolution, acquisition time of data, of data and anniversary dates accurate spatial resolution less than 0.5 pixel error method independently classified and registered then uh, compare them classification of combined multi-temporal data set principal component analysis of combined multi-temporal data sets image differencing subtracting needs to find the change no change threshold uh, change area will be in the tails of the histogram dis distribution image uh, Rationing and uh, dividing needs to find the change. No change threshold. Change area will be in the tail of the histogram distribution. Change vector analysis, delta transformation. Example of the stages on the development are presented here. Uh, so if you have any question, as I recommended you to read, uh, recommend you to read my papers. Uh, satellite based canal uh, water deficit estimation. Published in Springer, Dr. Jalzeb paper uh, in agriculture, water management, and other reputed journal on the land use, land cover, and the water balance uh, for the water resource management uh, to get deep knowledge on the use of remote sensing for the water resource management analysis. Thank you very much. If you have any question, you can ask me uh, on the WhatsApp group or on the given link below of my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.